Hi there, it's Antidev and today we're taking a look at the much awaited release of Tiny11. This new release is based off of Windows 11 Pro 22H2 and is very streamlined compared to a standard installation. By default, Tiny11 occupies only around 8GB of space but it can be further shrunk down by applying compression to the system files. If we look into the star menu, we'll see that only the bare minimum of apps have been kept. This includes things like accessibility features such as narrator and magnifier, the calculator, notepad, paint and the likes. Also, Microsoft Store is still here so that you can install and update your favorite applications. By default, Tiny11 uses local accounts, but the ability to log in using Microsoft accounts is still here if you want to do that. As you can see, the OS uses only around 6GB, which is a huge difference compared to the whopping 20GB of storage that a standard installation uses. Another thing that is changed in Tiny11 is that the standard requirements for Windows 11 have been removed, and as such, you can install Tiny11 on basically any computer that also runs Windows 10. For example, this VM only uses 2GB of RAM, and as you can see, it runs great. You can upgrade from Windows 10 to Tiny11 using the ISO image even on BIOS devices or computers that lack a TPM. The Inbox apps are the modern WinUI variants and they can also be updated through Microsoft Store. Windows Terminal is included as well as PowerShell. Widgets are also here, provided you have a Microsoft account. As you can see, Tiny11 has everything you need for a comfortable computing experience without the bloat and clutter of a standard Windows installation. To download Tiny11, use the link in the description. Well, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen or you find Tiny11 useful, please consider supporting me on Patreon at patreon.com/entidev.